Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expression Start Studio Gallery in the studio slash gallery. I have some paint to use up. I'm going to cover this canvas with a nice even layer and use my OXO omelet turning spatula. Flip and fold on the Amazon link underneath the link tree underneath the video. Once I get a nice even layer of paint, I'm going to grab the little tiny dish of mead and paint and a swipe card and I am going to draw with my swipe card. And at some point in time I may change the plan, but that's how I'm going to start this. So if you were to do this priming process and let it dry, as long as your paint layer was nice and even, even if you see marks now, the Floetrol in the paint mixture, paint priming recipe below the video, underneath show more, the Floetrol, you have to cover it completely, will even out and there will be almost no marks. I've had it so that I've had no marks. I've had it so I've had a few. It helps if you can keep your fingernail from dragging through it. Now I see one little thing, although now, now I'm looking I see two little things. Come here, little thing. So, here's my little card. And there's my first swipe and I'm going to clean my card off on the corner. And continue to clean off my card off on the corner. and the edge. Grab some more paint because I can. The name of my first book on the Amazon link. I'm going to have to wipe this card off and I don't want to. <laughs> but I'm going to try and make myself. Now, I've got other tools but this card is the one thing that I'm really interested in playing with right now. And I've got other paint in my squeeze bottle and that's probably going to happen next. I could put some gold in there. I'm considering it. I want some place to wipe off my card, but my Lola View mat is almost ready to get peeled again. Okay, so now, here's my, my maiden paint. I want a different kind of swipe tool, so I'm just going to grab my spatula flip it over throw some texture in some place Just learning which tools work well. I can make something I don't hate happen even if I'm not liking the process as much as I could imagine liking it. I'm really tempted to add some gold, but I kind of think that this would benefit from waiting overnight and having another, 
another separate session. Just making marks with whatever tools are handy. I'm going to use my airbrush. I might regret it. Whoa! <laughs> Not sure what that was. What was going on there? Sounds like it's rattling off my table, or something is. There's all kinds of stuff over there. That's better. This is just for a different texture mark. I love black and white. You can tell when it mixes with the white that it's not as black. I never used an airbrush before this year either, so. I'm just learning how to do that also. And I am almost done. Unless I want to do something entirely different, which I could. Might be a nice time to add chain. I ruined it completely. You could do this airbrushing with a with a um, with a straw, I think. Just gonna insert my skewer right into the painting. And shimmy it back and forth. Use my residuals because I can. The name of my first book. It's on the Amazon link on the link under the link tree that's under the video. I like residuals. <laughs> I think I want more residuals. I'll make them. I have yet to do a um, geometric today. So that was kind of fun. It's very different. I'm not sure I'm done yet. I'm not sure my paint will... Yes, I'm using my fingers. They're handy. And they have little round spots on the end of them. Fingertips. <laughs> and I have black paint left, so it's the perfect use. That might be almost it. Yes? Maybe a little more. Cool. What do I want? I kind of want that. Even though it makes no sense to me. I could definitely, definitely, definitely put some gold in here tomorrow. I could probably put some gold in here now, but
I love experimenting with mark making. I really, really do. Everything in abstract art does not need to make sense. I would like slightly bigger dots here. I still think I'm going to call that fun, but I want... some black right there. Okay, I guess that's it. Unless I keep sticking my fingers in things. So I love you guys. I want you to take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. Give me a nice thumbs up. Thank you for the wonderful comments. I appreciate all the donations that help keep me painting all this time. If you're interested in donating to help keep the studio producing videos, you'll also be automatically entered if you use the PayPal and Patreon icons. I prefer PayPal. They're on my YouTube channel banner, and also the links are shared on the link tree underneath the video. I'll have to think about this overnight, see what it looks like when it's dry, if I want to come back and do some gold. I could do some gold and black maiden, and that might be really interesting too. I've got some places to cover on my edges, but fortunately I've got some I've got some black in a dish that I want to use up anyway. So it's perfect. I love you guys. Hope you take care of each other, take care of yourselves. When you get bored, remember I have 1800 videos on playlists, all playlists, created playlists when you go to my YouTube channel banner. Excuse me. <laughs> when you go to my YouTube channel. Also, if you are looking for tomorrow's video, you can do so by looking on the community board. Well, that worked nice. Thank you, Nadine. I like it better now. I know, you can't trust me to stop when I say, well, I'm just never done until I'm done. And I like dots, what can I say? And every time I let one thing, one element pass over another, then I add dimension. My husband likes black and white too. That's getting better exponentially. She lost it. She went dotty. I'm pretty happy with this. Maybe I won't add any gold. So what should I tell you guys? Teespring clothing underneath the video has all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts and other stuff. So check them out. If you like my videos by giving me a thumbs up, I really appreciate it. When you share them, it's really helpful. When you watch them longer, it's helpful, more, more helpful still. And when you watch them when, when the notifications come out, more helpful still. Look for my email address underneath the link tree. You may have to open Show More. And under Show More, you will find my paint pouring recipe. But the link tree, uh, the address, <laughs> the email address will get you um, information should you want it about purchasing an artwork or taking a class at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. Um, I told you I have 1,800 videos and you can where you can find them. The Amazon link is on my link tree, and if you shop there, it's at no added cost to you, and it helps me out. I have two books, Because I Can, and Unlimited Possibilities, and all kinds of awesome tools there. Look for my Facebook groups, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Appreciation Group, on the link tree for students. Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More will take you to pixels.com and find out America. Uh, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery fans and collectors will show you albums with the artworks in. Under the link tree you'll find Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links. Pinterest is where I post videos when I, when I get them ready to schedule them. Instagram is where I post my, my work every day. So I love you guys. Hope you take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. This is Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery saying, I'll, I'll just zoom in. Yeah, that's pretty cool. I love black and white. I like doing really, really, really large black and whites. I have some really large black and whites in my house. They're four foot by six foot. I could go larger and still be happy. All right, I'll see you guys in on. Bye for now. Priscilla out. I do love you. I, I almost forgot. Bye. See ya.